So you've probably been wondering where I've been at the past, what, two or three weeks now? Since I've uploaded anything? It's, it's been a while. But I've actually been doing a lot of drawing. Um, I've got drawings laid out here in front of me. There are about 30 or 40 of them. And then I've got a sketchbook that's almost completely done. And then um, I have a portrait that I'm working on. That it, I've, I've probably spent 80 hours working on this portrait drawing. Um, it was a drawing that one of my friends friends requested for me to do. And I'm working on that. But all of those drawings I will be doing um, a review of. I wouldn't say a review. What is the word? A tour or a showing of them. And um, I'll show you all of those drawings in other videos. But right now I just woke up. Um, it is now currently 8 in the morning. And I'm going to eat me some food. Some breakfast. And I know later on I have, do have to go to the grocery store and get some food. A couple of things. To actually make a meal rather than eating uh, something plain and boring. Like just eating a bell pepper here. Uh, convenient and healthy. But... I want to actually have a good meal. But anyways, um, I have a drawing that I'm going to be showing you. We'll take a look here. And now I did this drawing last night um, with my roaching isograph. Uh, it was this one here. I actually have it uh, the other end off of it. But I was taking it apart to clean it because I was having issues with it wanting to properly draw. Um, the ink wasn't flowing right in the paper. It, it I kept trying to draw with it and... The ink just wasn't coming out. Um, and so I took it apart and I've got, uh, I, let, I let it set in water. And I had the same issue with my other one. I had to do the same thing with that. Um, but I'm not sure what it is. I mean, there's there's no blockage in it. I let it set in water for two days. And I I put the, um, the end of the, the pen under the faucet and the water goes through. And I blew on the um, the back of the pen so the water flows through. And there's no blockage in it. It's all cleaned. So I don't know what the deal is. What's going on with it. The nib's not bent because I draw with it. It works for a minute. Then it just stops. So I don't know what it is. But um, we're going to take a look at this drawing here that I've got. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, how I did this drawing. Um, what inspired me. And then we'll just go from there at that point. But as usual, I really have no idea um, where I get my ideas from for when it comes to drawing things. But for the most part, it's just doodling completely random stuff. So as you can see here, this is the drawing I did last night. And it probably took me maybe uh, an hour to do. Not that long. But as you can see here, I'm just repeating patterns that's what I do in a lot of my drawings when I have no idea what to make or I do have an idea of what I want to make but by just repeating the same pattern over and over I'm able to um, draw something I mean you can really draw all kinds of stuff by doing that this is just a simple face that I did a drawing of like a side view don't know what that is maybe it's a planet I guess these are just it could be I don't know, it looks like a bunch of tentacles or algae. And this here, that whole area looks like a big piece of like wood or side of a tree or something. Um, or maybe it's a river. I don't know. I, I think, in, in my view, I think it looks like a tree. And this here is actually like a tree of limbs and everything. Um, and I've got a little bit of cross hatching in it. And um, kind of a bit of a scribbly doodle going on around it but the drawing only took me about an hour to create and the sketchbook I am only like maybe 10% uh, of the way done because this is a new sketchbook I started on uh, I actually started on a couple months ago I did maybe one drawing in it and then I didn't draw on it for a couple months um, then I've been drawing in it more often now um, but it does pretty good with my roaching isograph. I just don't know why the roaching isograph isn't wanting to work. Um, I guess I'll just clean it and let it set in water for a week. Maybe that'll do it. But um, tell me what you think of this drawing. Um, what you think of the patterns that I use. Although it's a bit sketchy and scribbly. 
And I think the patterns will work. As you can see here, it, it's kind of scribbly, but I do get the contrast and the highlights um, to make it stand out a little bit more rather than just having everything like perfectly even. Uh, yeah, that's my doodle that I've created. And do let me know in the comments what you think of this drawing, and we can talk about that. And until then, thank you for watching, and I'm back now, back to uh, making my videos. But I've just been doing a lot of drawing and focused on creating things, rather than doing video editing. But I'm back now, and let me know in the comments what you think of this doodle, and if you have any questions or anything else related to drawing. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and you have a good day. See you later.